Welcome to Break Into Tech Show with Professor Temi Akinwumi of My IT University, a multi award winning tech CEO, career coach, and mentor. With decades of hands on tech career, will ensure your career dreams come true. Join our extraordinary show today on groundbreaking topic for a successful career. Do you want a $100,000 job as a cybersecurity professional, Scrum Master, Business Analyst Software QA? cloud architect, data analyst, technical recruiter, and more, visit www.myituniversity.com to schedule a call. Come and get inspired to secure a lucrative job, keep the job, and grow on the job. Relax, receive, and see results. We're glad you're here. Share, like, and comment. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your wonderful, wonderful time that you're having wherever you're joining me from. Thank you so much. My name is Professor Temi, and we're going to be having a lovely time today discussing. I hope you are doing great. I hope you are doing well. Um, and I'm sure you can see me on, you know, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, and that's you're able to, if you can't hear me, let me know. If you cannot hear me, let me know. I'm trying to find out, making sure that you can see me on LinkedIn. I think we're having some challenges on LinkedIn. So if you can, okay. Well, you know, so anyways, um, I'm sure you were on YouTube and on Facebook and LinkedIn, but you can use either or to see us. Whichever one is better for you, feel free to do that so you can see us. I'm super excited to be here with you today. And um, I'd like to know where you're joining me from so I can welcome you properly. Let me know. I see many people here already. Let me know where you're joining me from so I'm able to welcome you properly. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Professor Temi. I came with me like most of you know me already. I've been in tech for three decades. And I'm a multi award winning tech CEO of my IT university and of Top Group Technologies. And I'm so passionate and I love to give back to the community. Every single time uh, you see me coming back here to give back and to empower the community. And we have so many testimonials, so many testimonials, people getting jobs, people that just saw uh, information online and that's helped them in their career. Even yesterday, someone called me and said, oh, you don't know me, but this, 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 you know, and that's so, I'm grateful that I'm able to impact lives, communities from everywhere in the world, globally from China to Germany, to UK, to Canada, to Australia. It's a blessing and I'm grateful that I'm able to do that. So not only in the US, but everywhere, even in Africa. Our people are mentoring in Africa as well. So I'm grateful that I can do that, that I, that I really wanted to do it and God has made it possible for me to do it. So I'm grateful for that. I don't take it for granted. And I thank you all for always being here, for always you know listening and for always using this opportunity to impact your own life and career. So I'm so grateful that you're also using this opportunity as well and that you're always with me here every single time. So thank you so much, everybody. And also, I will strongly encourage you to have your notepad and pen ready, okay, so that we can learn and um, and understand. So anyway, you're joining me from, let me know. Let me know this, your name and the city or the country you are joining me from. I can see, and uh, let me welcome you properly. And also share, share, share on your platform. You know, share on your platform so people can see us, people can see that they can also use this platform to learn and to also be impacted, right? So let's share this on all our social media platform as well. Okay, so share, share, share. Thank you so very much. I want to welcome you all. Okay, I want to welcome you all. So Unwa, Unwa Odu, Ezima, Ezina, I can hear you on YouTube. Thank you so much. And I have Stoner K. Okay? from Virginia, um, I'm Alpha, Alpha. Thank you, Alpha. 
and I also have Carl Sama. Yeah, that's my prof and mentor. Thank you, Sama. Where are you located, Sama? Where are you located, um, Carl? I think Carl is in Germany, I think. And Zina is from Oklahoma. Thank you so much. Yeah, so that's what it is, guys. Um, the social media platform, our uh, social media platform is to empower life. Whatever you are joining me from is to make sure that the life can be better. Yeah, that's my prof joining from Germany. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. So that it can impact your life and it can make it better. If you are trying to break into tech, the major goal is that you break into tech and then you will keep the job and grow on the job. If you're already on the job, it's for you to be able to, to grow on the job and become an ex executive in your own right. I have so many students that I have met over the years and now they're executives in their in their organizations. Like I said, I've trained people that make, I was given I was given an analysis the other time and I said, Femi Iberia from New Jersey, New Hampshire, thank you so much for joining as well. I was analyzing Jesse and I said, oh, let's look at it. I've mentored a thousand plus engineer to tech, thousand plus engineers to tech, right? And I said, okay, let me look at it. I have one person making 200K, okay? I have like five people making 180K, okay? I said, I have maybe 20 people making 150 in recent times now. Because a lot of people that have trained that are gone, you know, I probably don't know what they're making by now. I've been mentoring for 18 years. And I said, I have a lot of people making 120 and 130 and 100, I have a lot of people. So it start from 100, a whole lot of people making 100, a whole lot of people making 120, 130, 150, 180, 200. That started off into that. I mean, getting into it. Not that they were making it after they got in. People can really make a lot of money. Like once you get in, you can really, we help you to know. You, we, I train you on salary negotiation too. Not only training or coaching for job to get in an interview, no, but also training you on everything. So that by the time you get in, you have everything that you need to scale. It's not enough for you to get in. For me, it's for you to get in and scale your career. That as soon as you are in, you are able to really become anything you want to be in that place. You take ownership as in literally taking the dominion, understanding the concept. Not ownership as becoming the owner of the company, but being able to own your material and your duty and your role in that place. And that's what it is for me. That is why in every of my classrooms, in every of my mentorship, I try to instill those characters, those attributes into the student, you know, and it's very important. So you see me, you emulate what I'm doing and that has really helped my students. So I'm not here saying what I don't do. Diligence, passion, you know, being uh, able to communicate, you know, collaborate, teamwork, leadership, accountability. All these are very important for you as a tech, as a tech person, as a service quality analyst, or whatever area of tech you are going into, you need to be able to have all these skills. Okay? Listening effectively, understanding what you're saying, and being able to bring it, everything back out the way it should be. All those things are very important when you are breaking it into tech. So I thank you all so very much for being here today. I'm very grateful for your time. If you're trying to break into tech, feel free to reach out, okay? It's calling right down there. Schedule a call with me, and I'm going to help you break into tech, keep the job, and grow on the job. That's my goal, okay? So I thank you so much. Um, you can also make sure you connect with me, okay? If you are prepping for interviews right now, if you're prepping for interviews right now, you don't have to worry. What do you have to do? Pray for interview right now, you don't have to worry. As you finish your training, okay, you finish your training, you are prepping, 
you can always get a trailer box. The trailer box is going to help you. Okay. It's gonna, I'm gonna scroll down here too. If you are doing cybersecurity, we have to talk about cybersecurity compliance. I'm gonna show you what that entails. We have trial box for Scrum, Agile. It's gonna really help you, okay? So you, I'm gonna really actually do a video that shows what the trial box has. People don't know what this thing has. It has a lot of stuff. It's gonna help you to break in it to take. You need to get a copy. You need to get a copy. And you need to connect with me if you need anything um you want to get into any of our classes like right now we have some classes that are starting i encourage you to connect we have class that's starting like this week sir this week next week um wednesdays and thursday october 4th we have some class starting you know you can join your cyber security classes we have some scrum master class starting don't waste time it's already we're already getting october november december we probably have only two classes left for the year grab one of those seats don't waste your time and you know the 500 dollars of coupon is going to end this year we're not going to have that next year so if you, if you miss the 500 dollars of coupon off of our already discounted price then i can really help you so that's what it is we've been having these sales this year next year the prices is going to you know, it's not going to, the discount is not going to be there because we're giving it to you all this year. So next year, that's it. And you know, our prices are very reasonable compared to outside. <laughs> it's like, we are not even one-fifth of their price. And you know, and you also have a payment plan and all of that. You can't get that anywhere. So schedule a call, get your trial box. Okay, it is a link for the trial box. And also, Make sure that you use your five hundred dollars of coupon for the upcoming classes. Okay, let's schedule. Let's schedule a call. Let's reach out to break into tech. Let's make this happen. Okay, schedule a call on mightyuniversity.com. You see a link to schedule a call. You click on it, schedule a call, and you'll be able to speak with me, and I'll guide you to break in. Okay, very good. So that's what it is. So let's get started into our discussion for today. Let's get into our discussion for today. So have your notepad and pen ready so we can discuss. And if you have questions, you can always ask your questions. Are we all with me? If you are getting here, you can say hi, I will welcome you. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at cybersecurity, threat and threat intelligence. Many a times I see people calling me and they want to break into PCI DSS. They want to break into third party vendor risk. But they are not thinking that it's more than that. You just want to do PCI DSS, just break into it. Because you saw somebody online always screaming about PCI DSS all over the YouTube and everywhere. It's more than that. Okay. You need to understand some concept. And that's why I always tell everybody everybody, I don't care who you are. If you are in tech these days, you must have Security Plus, period. CompTI Security Plus is very important. And also, even to buttress that, we just become um um CompTIA partner with the apprenticeship for tech that's a good news we are now part we are now partner with CompTIA so we're gonna be you know doing a lot of great things that you get to see out there um in different states and you know counties federal level so we are partner with CompTIA so you see that you know everywhere we are registered and we are partner with them we have people from CompTIA that work directly with us and help us establish that partnership so it's a big deal been in on it for a while but we have been registered and approved so we're going to be having a lot of benefits from CompTIA programs 
that can help you break into tech. And also you'll be able to have a lot of, um, you need to be in, you need to join us now because a lot of great things are gonna be coming out. A lot of, you know, you know, opportunities are gonna be coming out to support and to help you. Okay, so now people come to me and say, look, I want to do PCI DSS, this, that, and they don't even know that it's important to understand the concept of cybersecurity. Concepts, you know, are very important. And security blood break down this concept. One of these concepts also is threat and threat intelligence. What are we talking about? When we say threat and threat intelligence, what is that? It doesn't matter who you are, what role you are playing, which framework you are using, or which framework you want to break into, you must understand threats and threat intelligence. It doesn't even matter if you are in tech, in cybersecurity or not. You must understand threat and threat intelligence. So you're gonna be, we're gonna be going over this today. Like I said, connect with me, break into tech and don't delay. We provide coaching, mentorship, interview prep, resume and link the optimization, lifetime community support, job support and career guidance. So make sure you connect with me. Okay. So today we are discussing about threat and threat intelligence. This presentation is a presentation. We explore the world of cybersecurity threats and the role of threat intelligence in safeguarding against them. You must safeguard your infrastructure, your organization against threats. And please speak from here because this is going to help you in your interview. Anything you see me coming here to say is going to help you in your interview. My goal is for is to help the job seekers to get jobs. If they might be my student, they might be new. I don't care. I just want to make sure people can get their lifetime life together, get good tech jobs, break into it, do well. And if you're already in it, do better in it. And that's my goal. So anything you see me coming here for, you got to sit down and listen very well. Don't hurry to leave because I am not, I spend hours to develop these presentations. So I'm not going to waste time, you know, to bring something that doesn't make no sense. I don't do such. I'd rather stay, not come, than come here and waste. I don't waste my time. I do not at all. I don't do that. I do not waste time. So it's very important that you listen and stay. So we're talking about threat and threat intelligence. Ah, we need to understand cybersecurity risk. Because without, without threats, we cannot be at risk. I always tell my student that risk is what? What is risk? What is threat? What is vulnerability? And what is an asset? Right? So we're going to start with threat. Let's discuss threat in the context of cybersecurity. Okay? In the context of cybersecurity, what is threat? Hello, Chris. Chris from USA, welcome. I see you joining us. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So let's discuss what is threat. Okay. And I need my students, if you are here, define for me asset, threat, vulnerability, and risk. Can you put it in the chat? And I want to read it out. Um, a lot of my students that are here, threat, vulnerability, assets. I'm going to define uh, some things in that context, and I want to see if you are here. My students are so sharp. They don't play. They know what they're doing because from day one, I start mentoring them in the class. I prep them every week for interviews. I prep them every week with questions. They have to submit back the assignment in a group. So it's not stressful for them. They learn with ease. Ask them. Okay. So in cybersecurity, a threat refers to any potential damage or harmful events that can compromise the security, integrity, and availability of computer system, network, and data. You know, you know our security objective is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Okay? So there may be threats that are trying to exploit the vulnerability of those, of those concepts. Let's, okay, let's now see an asset. An asset is anything that you're trying to protect, right? It can be people, 
technology and what? And the process. All these are assets on organization. We try to protect our assets. And vulnerability is when those assets are what? If there's a, if there's a gap in your security effort, if there's a weakness in your security effort, then you have vulnerable. And when a threat is trying to what? Exploit the vulnerability of your assets. Okay? So it, it cannot cause damage or harmful compromise to that asset. And risk is the probability that an as that a threat will exploit the vulnerability of your assets. So there are different types of threats. And you need to understand all these things because these are interview questions. But if you don't understand this in that concept, then you get confused and you don't know what you are saying. I have a student that came, that some, a lady that did training somewhere, and but she can't get a job. She came to me and I mentor her one-on-one. -on -one. I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring. If you're not able to make it to any of these classes like life, I can mentor you one-on-one, -on -one. right? I mentor her one-on-one -on -one within, maybe, maybe within, Within three weeks, she got a job. And she said, but for example, the first thing they ask me is, this, is that, what's the difference between a threat and a vulnerability? And she said, I gave it to them. And I said, wow, this is the first thing they taught me in the class. And she said, the, guy, the lady was amazed. And she said, you are the only person that knows the answer. Every other person that I've met said it's the same thing. I can't trust and vulnerability be the same thing. It's never the same. So make sure you know that these are easy questions they can ask you to see if you know what you are talking about. So let's see the example of threats. Are we are we following me? Are we getting me? If you are following me and getting me, give me a yes. Give me a yes. Are you with me? Are we with me? Are you with me? You know, this is how we roll. I want to make sure it's interactive. My classes are interactive too. I make sure everybody's getting their following. Everybody must be in line, listening, following. You know, that's what it is. We make it fun, not stressful, not too. Yeah, thank you. So, types of threats we have malware, malware, malicious software designed to infect, damage, or gain unauthorized access. So that means malware are software that are designed by people. So that their software will infect the damage or gain unauthorized access to your infrastructure, to your environment, to your system, to your assets. Right? Very good. Cyber attacks. These are types of threats. Deliberate action taking. I'm going to learn how to how to counter them. We're going to learn how to counter them. We're going to learn about threat intelligence. So stay tight. Share this on your platform. Share this on your platform anywhere you might be. Share, share, share so that they can also see us. Cyber attack. Deliberate action taken to compromise security. Different types of attack, like hacking. The hackers that try to hack your systems. DDoS attack, denial of, distributor, distributed denial of service attack, right? All these are cyber attacks. These are threats, vulnerabilities, weaknesses or flaws in software, hardware, or configuration, misconfiguration, system that are configured wrongly. Insider threats, okay? Risks posed by individuals within an organization. You can have enemy within people that works for you, that works with you in your organization might be a threat. There might be a threat to you. They are within your organization, but they are threats. It might be a disgruntled employee, an employee that you refuse to give a salary increase or ask for something and you didn't do it. They can come back and haunt you. They can come back and pull down your system. You fire them, they fire your system. <laughs> they don't have to come and shoot out. They can all they do is come back and screw everything up. If they have the assets, if they don't have, they can hack in. So that's why we also talk about security awareness training. 
you, you need to be trained to know how to handle people. And if a manager, you handle the money, the, the, your people under your subordinate, under you, you manage them very well so that they, they don't get upset. There's a way to fire and hire. All those things are trained. You need to be trained for that. Social engineering, manipulative tactics to deceive individuals. You want to deceive people in the social engineering. You know, you, you try to, to send them, you know, uh, like phishing attack. It's a, a will, it's a, it's a will send the email to someone to click on it so that you can attack their systems, right? We have willing, willing attack. It's when you they, 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 they use the email to target the CEO of companies. And spear phishing is when you target a group of people, focus targets, right? And we have smishing, which is by what is smishing? Let, let me not give you all the answers, all the gems. Let me also give back to me. Smishing is which one? So what is smishing in social engineering? Smishing is when you do send a text message and you send them, oh, click on this, oh, target Walmart. Uh, Amazon is giving us a gift certificate, free whatever, freebies. And so you want people to click on it. That's smishing. That's an attack. It's threats. You don't do such things. Or you send, you call people calling you and say, oh, I'm RRS. Um, if you don't pay your tax, you're going to jail. RRS don't put anybody in jail. Those are all attacks, threats, all these scams, scammers, right? All those, you know, individuals, those are threats. You need to be vigilant. People sending you, calling you, sending you emails that are, not good emails, scam emails, asking you to click something, calling you that they, they are your banks and asking you to do certain things, send your social security number. Your bank has that, don't give it to them, okay? Because I know some of you are hearing me now, you are not really my students, right? And you are trying to be, but you, you're gonna fall victim of these things if I don't mention that. I can't assume that everybody that's listening to me now knows these things. How many people are, don't know about threat before? It's the first time of listening to me that you've heard of threat like this. Yeah, I don't want to make assumption, right? Anybody here that have never heard of threat before and this is a fourth sign? Okay, so everybody's known about threat. That's fine. So also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, subscribe, subscribe, and also follow Comments, comment on the YouTube channel, comment on, you know, what do you think? You know, also give us your comment. Don't just be quiet. I want to, I want to hear from you that you came here so I can give you a response back. Comment, like, share, and all of that. So common threat. Let's exploit common, common cybersecurity threats now. Let's look at the common threat like I've mentioned before. Let's now break it down further. Like I said, you're gonna learn a lot today. It's like class. It's like a free one hour of class, really. Whenever you come here with me, it's like a free one hour of class. Different thing, you never know what you will gain because I, I do a lot of putting this thing together. I spend a lot of time on them. Malware. Malware encompasses virus, worms, trojans, ransomware, all designed to harm or infiltrate systems. Virus. Many of you have virus on your system because you don't have antivirus installed. Virus might already be on your system because you're vulnerable. Your vulnerability is that you don't have antivirus, so virus gets in, right? You downloaded some freebies. You don't know that those freebies are some things in, you know, on it. Worms. The system become very slow. Trojan. You know, software that's masquerading themselves to be really ordinary software, but they're actually not. They are, you know, dead trap. You install those on your system, you get infected. Ransomware. You know, ransomware can actually take off your system and ask you, they lock your system up and ask you to pay a ransom to release it back to you. Right? So all those, is, those things are called malware. They are software designed to harm your system. 
Are we following me? Are we getting? Are you getting something from this? If you are getting something from this today, give me a one, one, one. Number one. If you are getting something, give me a one. I want to make sure you are following me, getting something, sending this out. And I think our LinkedIn users are not able to join. Something happened to the LinkedIn. So we need to share with them. Let them make sure that let's make sure that they can see us on YouTube and Facebook. I think we're on YouTube and Facebook now. Um, LinkedIn for some reason has some, some issues, and um, they will watch it later. But for now, they are not here. So we need to share with them. If anybody's on YouTube. Uh, on LinkedIn, you can share this to your LinkedIn so they can see us. I know they're probably trying to find out how can we connect. Thank you. So you are getting. Thank you very much. Okay, so cyber attacks, like I said, so attack like hacking and DDoS attack. There are different type of hackers. What are the different kind of hackers do we have? And you can know them by their hearts. We have black hats, right? We have gray hats and what? White hats. What's the difference between those hackers? Where are my students? What's the difference between the, the white hat, the white hat, the gray hat, and the black hat? What's the difference? Hmm? Ethical hackers and the ones that are not ethical, right? Okay. Vulnerability, we said, is weakness in software, hardware, and configuration that can be, be exploited. We don't want to be vulnerable, so we make sure that we um, there's no weakness in, in our security efforts. We're going to learn more about that as we go. An insider threat from individual within the organization misusing the assets, right? They have assets or they, they try to hack into the system. Thank you, Chris. Chris said, black hackers have malicious intention. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And um, Stoner said, the black hat intend to cause damage. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I like that you're interactive now. I like interactive. Thank you. Interactive. Um, Sessions are very good. So you learn and, and or you know, you participate. That's very good. Thank you. And I talk about social engineering, right? And I said, we mentioned a lot of social engineering tactics, you know, whereby they use manipulative, you know, tactics to compromise security. And I already mentioned all sort of Social engineering, right? I already mentioned them. So did you all learn anything from what I mentioned earlier in social engineering as part of threats? If you learn anything from social engineering, feel free to leave the comments here. What did you learn from social engineering? What are examples of social engineering that I mentioned earlier? And as we go, don't forget to schedule a call. I tend to put this here so that you'll be able to so people will say, oh, I've been looking for your numbers. I don't have it. You have it now, okay? Schedule a call, reach out to me. If you're trying to join any class, you have a cousin, niece, nephew that want to break into tech, tell them to schedule a call with me. Ultimately, if you need to join a class right away, but you can't wait to schedule a call, you can just text me on my cell phone, okay? Or call me and leave me a message. That's why I'll call you back. So don't forget, what we provide is a lot, from coaching, mentoring, interview prep, resume, LinkedIn optimization, lifetime community support, job support, and career guidance, in addition to our support from Comtia that we are partner with now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Chris, I see you say phishing attack. OK, phishing attack. OK, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm talking about social engineering, and I said, okay, add some social engineering concepts that you understand so that I can bring that up. Very good. So Chris said, let me read what Chris said. Phishing attack, like I mentioned before, there are different types of phishing attack, right? And I mentioned the different types. Can some people 
men can some people share with me what are the different types i just mentioned that let's reveal carl said deceptive email are example of social engineering yes very good yes yes example of social engineering is, is intent to mislead the victim through social media like facebook and email yes very good it is it is and smashing text uh, me message by text and phishing email yes smishing very good smishing is s m s smishing smishing is like this smishing is s m s s m s then h i n g smishing like that one so because it's by sms text message url asking okay okay yeah better thank you for that chris chris you are very active today i love that thank you chris and i love that um femola then is also very active and also carl is very active and also Stoner is very active. These are the only four people that are active today. And I don't know what is going on. <laughs> These are the active people today. Am I am I saying the truth? So you need to be active now so I can give you your own flowers. You need to be active. Only four people that I see that are very, very, very active. Other ones are active too, but these are the super active people. You need to give them the clap. You got you you got it you got you got a <laughs> you got a flower from me for being active. I love being people that are active, that are part of the discussion, right? Okay, so what is threat intelligence now? What is threat intelligence? We talk about threat. What is it intelligence behind threat? Threat intelligence is the proactive process of collecting analyzing disseminating information about potential cybersecurity threats and vulnerabilities i'll take that again threat intelligence is the proactive process of collecting analyzing and disseminating information about potential cybersecurity threats and vulnerability it plays an important role in staying ahead of cyber threat. Threat will always happen. Threat will always happen. If we are trying to protect our infrastructure, we're putting all the controls in place. We are safeguarding and controlling, you know, trying to set everything up. There will always be residual risk. There will always be threats, right? So we ought to enable information decision and enhance overall security posture of our organization, right? So we're gonna continue our discussion. So let's break down the component of threat intelligence. We have data collection, we can collect data. We can collect data. What are the, we, there are different tools that we can use to collect data in the threat intelligence environment, right? We can collect data, we can analyze the data, contextualization of the of those information dissemination and application okay so what are some of the tools that you have seen out there that we are used for data collection what are some of the tools that you have seen that we are used for analysis contextualization dissemination and application these are the things i'm going to be bringing over and over back to you here okay so let's break down the concept behind the threat intelligence. Let's look at the components. Data collection, gathering information from diverse sources, from different sources. You gather information from different sources. That's data collection, okay? Analysis, evaluating data to identify patterns trends are potential threats evaluating data to identify patterns trends 
and potential threat. That is the threat analysis. Application. Using intelligence to inform policies, improve response, implement controls, and enhance security. Using intelligence to inform policies, improve response, implement controls, and enhance security. Thank you. Thank you, um, Chris. Yeah, the mutual attack framework. Yeah, that's a very good one. And we always talk about that in our classes. You all can Google that and go to their website. You will see a lot of information out there. Mm -hmm. Con contextualization, assessing the re re relevance of threats of specific organization. Chris, are you in tech or you are, you are just getting to tech, Chris? Are you trying to get into tech you are in tech? We also have dissemination, sharing actionable intelligence with relevant stakeholders so that the stakeholders will be able to take action based on what they receive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see that you're trying to write framework. So that in tech, kinda, kinda in tech, okay. <laughs> okay, Chris, thank you. So dissemination, that's what I, I'm saying, you know, that if you're in tech, it's a continuous learning, continuous improvement, you continue to come, keep coming back, keep learning, you don't stop. We don't stop learning in tech, we keep learning in tech. It's very important. So we're doing the data collection, analysis, application, conceptualization, and dissemination. Are you guys enjoying this thread? Threat and threat intelligence series. Are you guys enjoying it? So that I know if you guys like that or what you guys like to hear. If you are enjoying it, give me a yes, a yes, a yes. I want to make sure that you enjoy what I'm bringing. It's good. Uh huh. So it's very important that I make sure. Give me a yes if you're enjoying that. Give me a yes if you're enjoying that. Give me a yes if you're enjoying that. Okay. I want to make sure that you are. Because I want to make sure that whatever I'm bringing to you is, um, is what you like to hear. And don't forget, I mentioned to you your treasure box to make sure that you get a copy. Okay. And I also mentioned to you that the treasure box we have, we have new new updates actually i just added something on vulnerability yesterday and today i'm going to actually share with you what it looks like at the back end of the trail box so you can see thank you thank you guys so good so good professor very informative very good very good everybody's saying yes 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 okay very good florence i see you rexford i see you life changing story tv i see you <laughs> Michael, I see you. Thank you all very much. So, very important. Reach out, schedule a call. So, before we, we're not going to go yet. I have more things to show you. Okay. I have more things to show you. Um, I have more things to show you. So, bear with me for a minute. Okay, I'm sure you can you can see me. You can see my screen. So here is um this is how the trail box looks like. Let me just walk you through it. This is a trail box, okay? Cyber trail box. We have 46 videos, okay? And we have videos from interview process, interview tips, resume optimization. LinkedIn optimization session, job start strategy, how to use your cybersecurity GRS interview, 10 crucial cybersecurity questions a candidate can ask an hiring manager during an interview. A lot of things you see me bringing here are from this trailer box. General questions, general questions, you know, for interviews. General question one, two, these are videos. GRC tools overview, okay? 
I'm showing you from the back. Technical interview series, technical series. We have one to like seven series. Okay, one to like seven videos. They are all videos. I'm gonna show you that. Let me go back to the module. Okay. Uh huh. Let me go back to go back to the front. So you can see it's a lot of videos on here, like 40 something videos. We have RMF. RMF has all this series. Okay, risk management framework interview. These are videos. These are all different videos. One, two, question and answer videos. The faces of the RMF. What does it mean when you have an ATO package? The ISO. This is for ISO. Three videos. We have five, five, four videos for RMF, three videos for ISO. For PCADSS, we have six videos, different videos. QA, scenario based, third party vendor risk, we have five videos. QA, you know, QA, question and answer for interview, the best practices, scenarios, tools, and compliance organization. We have security tools and usage scenarios. Service now, service now one and two, RCA, RCA, RCA one and two, calls one and two. We have an listing management question and answers. Okay, salary negotiation and work ar arrangement. 1099W to cop to cop. So all these are in your, all these are in your um, trial box. So you want to make sure that you get it. And it's AI enhanced. You just sit down, listen, and it gives you the question and answer. Okay? I'm going to play like one or two for you, and then we'll call it a day. I don't want to hold you. Or, or, or call, I mean, and we'll do other things. I mean, so just let me just show you what it is. Can you all hear me? Okay, you, you cannot hear me. So you, so you guys, can you guys hear through the trail box? Can you guys see the trail box? <laughs> I wasn't sure what you guys can see. Were you guys able to see the trail box or hear the trail box? Hello? Everybody, were you all able to see the trial box? If you're able to see the trial box, give me a yes. Please, we could dig deep. Yes, okay. Okay, so you saw the trial box, right? I show it to you. 
is on our website as well, on Mighty University. Um, I show you how it works, walk you through it. Okay, that's how it, it is a trial box. Make sure you grab your copy. Hmm? It's going to be a game changer. It doesn't matter if you are new to tech or you're already in tech. You need to get a trial book. It's going to really help you. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. When you come back and watch the replay, I was showing you through how the trial box looks like. Give me one second. Let me show you. Um, Trail box. Give me one second. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video of the trail box and I put it out so you can see what you are missing if you don't get it. Because this trail box, I can't tell you enough about it. It has so much information, it has a lot of information. And it's available on our website. Let me just show you where to go. Okay, let me show you where to go. MyUniversity.com is where you will find it. Okay, share that. My IT University. This is on the web. This is our website, My IT University. Okay. So you will go there. It's right here, even you can. I want the or the AI box. The AI box. People call it a miracle in a box. It's a game changer for your all your interviews. Okay, it's right here. This is this is one for cybersecurity. This one for Scrum Agile. You click on here, it takes you to the to where you're gonna get it. Okay. This this trouble is just for 99 compared to how much we can charge? We have like 40 something videos, all for interview prep, and it's AI enhanced. So make sure you grab your copy. Make sure you grab your copy. Okay, it's very important. It's gonna change how you interview forever. Okay, so that's what I was showing you. Okay, so did you all see that? Now, did you all see that? The trail box, did you all see that? Everything you see me bringing here, they are from it, coming from the trail box. And whatever you pay for a trail box, you will never have to pay anything else. It's for a lifetime. It's going to be a game changer. All my engineers, they have one. Even people that already in tech, that the first one to jump at you, be like, what? This is really good. And if you are going for interviews, it's going to really help you. It has so many things. It has so many scenarios, tools, you know. It has everything you need to interview, to, to stay in your tech career. It's there. It's there. So I will strongly encourage you to make sure you get a copy and uh, enjoy it, okay? It's on our website. Get it, get it, get it. Get your copy today. So thank you all so very much for being here today. I appreciate you, and I thank you. Uh, make sure you share with others. Especially people that are on uh, LinkedIn, I'm not sure they can join us today because something happened on that LinkedIn. It's not going through. So I love you all and see you all. We meet on Clubhouse every Mondays and Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you join us, okay? And keep doing the great things. Wait, um, be on the lookout. We have so many great testimonials. Every Saturday, we do have what we call uh, interview preps and mentoring. So these are one of the reasons why you have to join us because if you are not with us yet, you are missing this mentoring. So that mentoring happens every Saturday and I'm there live. We have seven groups. We are doing some great things on that. We started a great um, program on um, two weeks ago and I have I have seven groups and I've given them assignments. I was with them two, for two hours. So they're presenting back to me this Saturday. And um, it's people that already graduated. If you have not graduated, you can't be a part of it. But that's why you have to join us because I do it group by group. When I finish this group, I start another group. And people that already graduated working in tech can come. 
We have so many mentors there that will be guiding you, helping you. You can connect with these mentors. So those are the advantages that we get from my IT university. Because once you are with us, you can come into any program, any program, any day. People that have mentored like 12 years ago, 18 years ago, they still come. They are still here. See, that's what we're going to gain when you are with us. You gain the benefits. And I'll guide them in their job, in their day-to-day. -day. They have problem in their job. Guess who they're going to call? Things that are like, even political stuff, or things that they don't know what to say or do. You know who they will call. <laughs> even though they're already executives. Yeah, I'll guide them. Because I've been in tech for 30 years, so... I know everything about tech. So I still get my students that are already, you know, managers, people that are getting in, people that are already midway. I get everybody. You wonder how that is possible. Yeah. I love to do it so it doesn't seem like anything to me. So thank you so much, guys. Wish you all a lovely rest of your day. Love you all. Take care. Bye.